and render advice or make legislation. No law can be made without being passed by the National Assembly and assented to by the President. Then it is published in the Gazette within 30 days and then it becomes law. How law is made must be known by National Assembly members, otherwise they will make bad laws or they will pass bills that will never become law or because they have passed them in the wrong way. So it is important to have competent representatives in the National Assembly to carry out their tasks. The reason I raise the issue of the Doi candidature is because of the fact that people must distinguish what a party is and what a coalition is. Under section 60 of the Constitution, it is political parties that have the mandate to put candidates to vie for elections. And under the Elections Act, parties could put up and sponsor candidates, but individuals with sovereign rights to elect or be elected under Section 26 could also stand as independent candidates. But there is no provision for a coalition on the law sponsoring candidates. <coughs> the special circumstances of the Gambia, where we had self-perpetuating rule in the past, 30 years in one instance, and 22 years in another instance, gave rise to a situation where the opposition had never, through the ballot box, changed government. The entrenched power of the executive made it impossible for individual political parties to stand and win elections. The executive continued to entrench its power by amending the constitution, first in 2003, amending section 48 of the constitution, which provided for the second round of voting, asserting that if no presidential candidate had more than 50% of the vote, then you have to have a second round of voting where the candidates with the highest number of votes, the two candidates, will participate in the second round. <coughs> Faced with the possibility of a second round, the entrenched power under Jambe decided to amend that provision and introduce force past the post. Consequently, it became more difficult for many opposition parties to vie for elections without dividing their votes and making it easier for the incumbent to win. This was worsened by the Elections Amendment Act of 20th July 2015 where the deposits were increased from 10,000 for the presidential candidate to 500,000. And for National Assembly members, from 5,000 to 50,000. So in a way, if that still existed, just these four candidates, including me, we become five. 
we would have had to pay 250,000 to be able to participate for five candidates. <coughs> so we are talking about 53 candidates to be sponsored by a political party because you don't have 53 seats in the national assembly. So in essence then, the entrenched power did not want any opposition party or parties, combined parties, to have a majority in the National Assembly. This is precisely the reason why we decided as opposition parties to develop a tactic of how to remove that entrenched power from power. Prior to the amendment of the Elections Act, which was in fact an assault on the integrity of the recommendations made by the opposition for electoral reform. Electoral reform were requested for by the opposition prior to 2020 with the objective of leveling the ground. But that mayor act of 2015 made it very evident that electoral reform was not the agenda. Many people felt that change could not come to the ballot box. Election reform was futile and the recommendation by many was that some form of tumult would have to happen before change would be felt. That was one agenda. But the other agenda that some people held was that prior to presidential election, opposition parties should struggle for electoral reform. But once you are faced with the presidential election, which changes the whole system, then it is better to work out an alliance strategy to be able to effect change. It is important for all of you to understand, all Gambian people to understand what gave rise to Coalition 2016. We have the institutional memory. Therefore, we have to share it. With all humility, but it must be shared so that you know what has happened.